Today, I am grooming Snuffleupagus. He is apparently a dog, and he's currently available for adoption at my local Humane Society. I love providing free grooms, but it's even more rewarding when I do it for dogs in need. Stay tuned for his impressive before and after. Okay, Snuffleupagus. You are a matted frickin' disaster. Okay, so rescue from the Humane Society, currently available for adoption, I believe. Some kind of a doodle. I have no idea what this dog is. Severely overweight and extremely matted. So, and the smell coming from this dog is something that I can't even explain. It's literally something out of nightmares. So I'm gonna start shaving with a 10 today. Cause he's definitely going to need it. Sometimes I will bathe them first. In this case, I really think this coat needs to be shaved first um, because he is obviously a double coated dog, but he has what appears to be a shedding coat. If I try to bathe him, the water is not gonna hit the skin. So I won't be able to wash and shave. He is matted, but I don't believe he is matted to the point where wet shaving would be beneficial. I do need to get a different blade here though, because this one doesn't want to cut. Seeing as he is a rescue dog, I don't know, and nor did the Humane Society know what his temperament was gonna be like. So hopefully he's okay for grooming. Are you gonna stand for me? Something tells me you are a fan of sitting. The reason why the blade is having a hard time getting through is not because he is matted, although he is matted, it's because he has this dense, thick undercoat and undercoat can be difficult to shave because it likes to get stuck in your clipper blades. So the combination of both of those things and the fact that he is extremely dirty, the blade does not like that. For anyone who believes that he shouldn't be shaved because of his undercoat, you would be correct as long as this coat was properly maintained. It obviously isn't. Up. This is going to be a dog that does not stand. I can see that. Come on, up, up, up. Thank you. Feel as though you're going to need the belly band. Oh wow, you are just a mess. I'm going to have to take an immense shower after this because he is disgusting. I don't know this dog's story right now, but I am going to ask at pickup. This is probably an owner surrender. Someone clearly neglected their dog because this dog is just an absolute mess. You're gonna feel really good after this, buddy. Because I'm sure you've been very hot. This dog can't regulate his body temperature because the matting is so thick and tight to the skin. He has some pretty obvious signs of a flea infestation. He wouldn't have fleas now. The Humane Society would have treated him when he came in in order to prevent the spread of fleas, but there's some obvious flea dirt all over him, so clearly he did have fleas when he came in. I know. He's having a real hard time standing, probably because he's so overweight. So I'm gonna try to shave his back end and his groin as quickly as possible because this is very uncomfortable for him. That way he can sit for the remainder of the groom. So somebody clearly overfed you and did not maintain your coat. And it's, he seems like a very sweet, tolerable dog. So he's going to have a really good life with whoever adopts him. Normally when I have doodles that come in, especially those from the Humane Society, they're usually very hyper, difficult to manage, and this is not the case for this guy, so that was a pleasant surprise. I knew he'd be mad at because that's typical. I know, I know. Shh, 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 shh. 
He's only crying, not because this hurts. He's crying because he doesn't want to stand. I know, buddy. I know, buddy. Look at all the poop on your butt, though. Come on. Look at this. Oh, my God. You poor dog. This is not fair. Okay, good boy. Okay, I'm going to take you out of this. And then I'll put you back in when we have to do the other side, okay? Because you really don't like it. Okay, sir, you can't lay down, though. I'm sorry. Laying down is out of the question. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Can I see your leg? Is that allowed? Good boy. No. Keep your face away from my hand. Please and thank you. Good boy. <laughs> no. I will put you in a muzzle if you show me some aggression. I let you sit down. There's no reason to fight me now. This is the type of dog that is going to end up giving me hair splinters all over my body. Just the type of coat that he has. Can I see? Good boy. Good boy. Are you gonna bite or are you just gonna fight me? Don't bite. Good boy. I was going to leave him with a cute, fluffy looking head. I still kind of want to. I just don't know how he's going to be for having his face blow dried. That's my only concern. Well, I guess if he doesn't like his face dried, then I will shave it off when it's wet. Okay, we are gonna turn you. I gotta put you back in the belly band for your other side. This has got to feel good, man. What's funny is that I thought I shaved enough on the other side <laughs> to get through on this side, but his back is so wide because he's so overweight that I actually didn't. <laughs> oh my God. These types of dogs we like to call coffee tables because they are very wide at the top of them. <laughs> This is a time where I wonder if this dog has ever had a haircut in its life. Holy man. If I tried to wash this dog first, there is no way I would have been able to get water anywhere near the skin. It is so thick. Whoever adopts this dog is going to need to know that this dog definitely does shed and is certainly not hypoallergenic. The blade is doing a great job at not heating up, which I'm very thankful for, so I can get through this quickly. Well, you're gonna have to rename you after because you're not gonna be a Snuffleupagus after this. He does not like his groin being touched, I noticed. It is disgusting in there. I might have to do some cleaning on that first before I can shave it off. Once he is clean, the clipper will be able to slide through his hair. It's just so much dander, so much um, undercoat. Oh man, it's having a hard time. So I just cleared out the hair from it, and now I'm gonna put some oil on the blade in the hopes that it will help get through the coat a little bit better. Nope, nope, stay. Yeah, you're itchy. See, it feels nice. He's got enough hair off. I'm gonna take him for a bath and then go from there. Okay, bud. Can we have a bath? You really need one. Yes, you do. I am going to use Nasty Critter today because if there's any dog that is the face of Nasty Critter, it would be this one. It's okay, it's just water and uh, it's something that you desperately need. Are you thirsty? Oh. Okay, have a drink first. Okay. 
Now I'm gonna give you a bath. Okay. Good boy. No, no running out of here. No, no, no. It's just a bath. I don't normally rinse them first. So I usually just use straight shampoo, but in case he tries to back out, I don't want to waste shampoo. I think he likes it now. You're probably really hot with all that hair, so I can imagine that this has got to feel pretty good. This isn't cold water, but it's not hot water, so it's got to feel good on his skin. Especially under there. you got to be pretty itchy. This has got to be like a whole new world for you. <laughs> you are a giant sausage. What the heck, man? Maybe he was owned by some old people that just didn't know any better. We'll find out. Find out what your story is. I should just take a shower with you right now because you made me so dirty. I can imagine what I smell like right now. Um, don't lick off the shampoo. That's gross. Oh my God, this... The circumference of this dog, oh my god. You need like a serious meal plan. I'm sorry. You would feel so much better. No wonder why you're kind of cranky. I need a good scrubbing on this face. Especially your cheeks. You're gonna like the blow dryer on your neck. Oh, yeah, um, that was ambitious of you. Ooh. You are far too big to make movements like that, buddy. Come here. You're actually, when you lose weight, you're actually quite small. I would say this is a medium-sized dog. Right now, you're just a little bit tubby. I'm gonna clean up his grooming area, disinfect the tools, and then I'll put him back on the table and we're gonna attempt to blow dry him. If he's good with the blow dryer, I will continue. If he doesn't like the blow dryer, I will put him in a crate dry to dry and then I will take him out when he's finished. Okay, let's see how he manages with the blow dryer. Okay, we're gonna put the happy hoodie on you. Okay. All right, bud. Try not to freak out, okay? Try not to panic. Nope, nope, nope. You're gonna, ah! Well, let's try that one more time because you're really gonna wanna keep this on, I promise. And if you take it off again, well then, you don't have to wear it. So Mr. Snuffleupagus is dry, and now it is time to give him his final haircut. Can I get through your head hair now? Stay. Stay here. Boy. Nope. Stay. Good boy. Good boy. His hair type is very strange. The clippers, no matter how sharp they are, just don't want to grab his hair. It's bizarre. You feel better now. Nice and clean.
I'm switching to another clipper because maybe it is my clipper that's not cutting properly. I don't know, they seem to be cutting the same. So this dog's coat is very strange because of how matted it was. I had to shave in different directions all over the coat, which led to a lot of lines in the coat. I could fix this by shaving him in reverse, but I'm not going to do that because then he's going to be way too short. So I'm just going to smooth him out the best that I can. Obviously he came in in pretty rough condition and we can't expect the dog to look perfect. I mean, I want the dog to look perfect, but I can't smooth out these lines after shaving out all of that matting. So he has a very different coat than most dogs. Most this wouldn't happen to but he has a weird, weird texture to his coat. You no. Know, doodles and their freaking legs. I swear you guys are all the same. You no. Know, I'm gonna move on to the back end. Try to get as much of that done as possible. And then try again at the front. I don't like your tail being done either, or your butt. I'm not a fan. I switched blades because my other one was getting too hot. This one seems to be doing a better job. I'm so confused. It's also hard when you're using a 10 blade and a dog is overweight like this because every time you hit a bump or a lump where his rolls are, it makes like a like a like the clip the clipper digs in and it makes a bit of a line and it can be hard once the coat is this short to fix that. But this clipper and this blade seems to be doing a better job. I don't know. Odd. While he's on this side, I'm going to attempt to do his paw pads. Something tells me that's gonna be difficult. They're so matted, you gotta let me do it, please. No, nope. nothing hurts him here. He just really doesn't like having his paws or his legs touched. Not a fan. Good boy. Wow, I didn't think I was gonna be able to get this done. Okay, good boy. So obviously, considering the way that he behaves for his legs, they aren't going to turn out to my expectations. They definitely could have been better, but at least they're shaved and look somewhat smooth. So that's a win. When working on rescue dogs, we never really know what we're dealing with, so. So far, I'd say he's being a really, really, really good dog for everything. A plus, he'll get used to having his legs and his paws done when he gets more frequently groomed. I, I don't even know if this dog's ever had a groom before. He didn't look like he has, so good boy. Good boy. He hasn't shown any aggression, which is awesome. Okay, let me do those ears. We're gonna go outside after this. We're gonna get a big bowl of water and treats and have a really awesome before and after. I already noticed that just having all of that hair off, he's able to stand a lot easier than he was. He's probably a lot cooler and it was probably a considerable amount of weight taken off as well. We're almost done. So I shaved his body today in a 10. I did about a four on his head and his ears. I chose a 10 because he was super matted. I didn't think I'd get through him with the seven, which I most definitely would not have gotten through him with the seven. Now he will have a long time before his hair grows back. 
I don't foresee that he'll be at the Humane Society for very long. He's a really cute dog with a great temperament. He'll probably be adopted right after his haircut because now he looks really dashing. I wonder what you're mixed with. Not your typical doodle, that's for sure. I'm sweating. You are making me sweat. I know, it's your favorite part, sorry. He's very red all over, and that is just from the matting having been pulling at his skin. Now that I've removed it, you can see that it's red in some spots. It will improve now that his skin can breathe. I have to try to shave his leg by holding it different ways and going at him from different ways because he doesn't like when I hold his leg. So I'm trying to figure out how I can get it done and make keep him as comfortable as possible. He doesn't like when I shave the paws. No, no, no. It's okay. I know someone's going to comment, well, maybe his paws are in pain. I mean, his joints could be in pain because he is so heavy. I'm not gonna say that that's not a possibility, but as a pet groomer that has been grooming for so many years, I can tell you that there are many, 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 many dogs that hate having their front legs and their front paws touched. Doesn't matter how young they are, how old they are, it's a very common trait, specifically with doodles. So it doesn't always necessarily mean that they're in pain. He's not licking anywhere here, it's not brown. Normally when their joints are in pain, they'll lick them a lot and make them very brown. And that's not the case. His paws are stained, but that's probably just from being very dirty. So I don't believe that he's in severe joint pain, which is causing him to be upset. You're okay. Nope, nope, nope. Doing my best to keep his face still because if he moves, I can cut him. This is him whipping his face around, not me throwing it around. He obviously does not want it done. Stay. I would like to get those hairs here, but I think I'm gonna give up because I have a feeling He's going to move and I'm going to catch his tongue. I think this is good enough for today. So he is all finished. He took me two hours and 15 minutes to complete. I'm going to let him outside to run around, get a big drink of water and give him some treats. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again in a few days. Remember what he looked like before? Now he is a plus size model ready for his close-ups. Once again, Thank you to my viewers for enabling me to provide my services for free by simply watching my content. If you'd like to support my work further, don't forget to hit that subscribe or follow button and share with all of your friends. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time.